everyone. Today I am out here with my PX3 Ranger, changing a few settings in the body control module. And one of those settings that I'm gonna show you how to do is the smart charge system. So from factory, this alternator here only charges the battery to 75%. That's a factory preset for some reason, Ford decided to put that in, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can change that. But first up, we're gonna see how many volts that alternator is actually putting to the battery before we do anything. Now, if we do a charging test on this battery, we'll be able to see exactly how much the alternator is charging the battery. So we've got 12.94 volts. As you can see, it is showing us that charging is low. 12.9 volts is all we got to that battery. So now I'm gonna show you how to change that. Now on my previous video, you would have seen me do this on my PX1. However, it's slightly different on the way we do it on the PX3. In the PX1, it only gives you the option to turn the smart charge system completely off, where on the PX3, we actually have the option of setting a percentage. So with Forescan, if you've never used Forescan before, I do have a video on it, so I'll throw that link in the top right-hand corner, but if you have Forescan, I'll show you exactly what to do. So we're going to this little computer chip icon over here, and we're just clicking on that and pressing on that. And then that gives us a whole bunch of options here. So we're scrolling down to the body control module configuration, which is that one there. So I'm gonna click on that. And then once we're on that, just simply scroll down to that little play button down here. And once we click that play button, it will basically just ask me if I've got a HS MS scan switch, which I do. And I'm gonna flick that here to the HS scan position. Okay, and we are in. So now we're gonna just scroll down to the item where it says battery target state of charge. And as we can see here from factory, it's programmed at 75%. So all we gotta do is just click on that. So we'll double click it. And then it gives us an option to put a value in. So the preset value from the factory is 75%. We are gonna type in 100% and just click the tick button. So now, as you can see here, we have 100% for the battery target state of charge. We just simply scroll down to here and we see a little icon there that says right, which is right down the bottom of the screen there. And you just click on that and it's, give, it's gonna give us an option. So battery state of charge 75%, the new value is gonna be 100%. Essentially just click on the uh, tick button and it will start writing. So it's telling us to cycle the ignition off and then back on and click OK. And once you've done that, that's pretty much it. It has now written that to the body control module of the vehicle and it is 100% programmed. So now when we go out and check the voltage coming to the battery, we should have a full 14.4 volts instead of 12.9 volts. So let's fire it up and have a look. So there we go, 14.19 volts, charging normal. 